Yo guys, AMA 9. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm back. Sunday, Monday, happy days. So, I got asked a question today, actually, and I thought it was a good one. Um, I didn't really think about my first time in this situation, and I thought it'd be good to share. So, my first time having sex. Smash. Tell me about it, Stan. I got chills, they're multiplying. Shame. <laughs> so, uh, hey Seth, been following your page for a while. Had a quick question. I released my second iOS app today and I want to start freelancing. I've learned iOS dev by myself and wanted to get tips on how to get my first client. Any insights? Cheers, Ed from London. Um, so I went about it kind of an interesting way. I know like nowadays, and I'll, I'll get to this more, but nowadays like uh, a good method is social media, uh, which I still am very for, but again, I'll get to that in a second. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if they have this in London. I know that they do this in other parts of the world, but especially here in the United States, um, the USPS, the United States Postal Service is federal. And so you can do it anywhere in the United States for sure. But basically for a small amount of money, you can get um, all the addresses of businesses within certain zip codes. I think it was like 20 bucks to get like, what equated to like 20 or 25,000 businesses all within like three area codes. Wrong. Bad. Or zip codes. And um, and yeah, so we had all these addresses. They basically give it to you in this format that's printable for labels. We literally printed them up at home. It was a lot. <laughs> and I think we only did the first 5,000 because that's all we had made flyers for. We literally just made a flyer. I don't even think I have it anywhere anymore. But it was, and it was dumb. It was just an attention getter. It was literally just like a rooster. And because we lived in a town called Oviedo, which was like home of the roosters or whatever. And <laughs> I'm from the sticks in Orlando. Uh, but, um, but it was just like a rooster and a computer and just said, tired of your current um, development company. We were a web design company and we were just starting out and we had built a few things but we didn't have any real clients. This, this isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? So we sent that out to 5,000 businesses. We immediately started getting um, inquiries. Um, we probably would have gotten more. I mean, it's a numbers game. So the more you do, the more you get in return. So like if you're only getting a 5% return, then you need to fucking talk to 20 clients. You know, like you need to get in front of 20 clients, one of them will sign. But um, yeah, we probably could have done more. But the other thing is like we were in a little bit over our heads and we weren't really expecting to get clients the size that we were getting. We were thinking we were just be doing like little WordPress sites or whatever. And that was our focus. That's what we were going for. But what ended up happening was we started getting clients with really big requests. That's what she said. <laughs> so we weren't prepared to take on at the time. Now it'd be easy requests. Like maybe walks in the park. But back then, this was years and years ago when we first started Bridge. And um, it just wasn't, uh, Bridge is the company name. And it just wasn't, we just weren't ready. But um, that's a really cool method. I mean, like I think to print up the flyers, we spent like 60 bucks. To get the email addresses, we spent like 20. And then I think I think like when you send in bulk like that, we paid like eight cents a stamp to send it. So when when you're drop when you're getting it just dropped into every single mailbox like that in a row instead of uh, it being sent directly to somebody, it's cheaper. So we paid like not that much money at all to have all this done. I think it was like 120, 130 bucks total or something. Super cheap. And um, and yeah, we got clients from it and it kind of got the ball rolling. As of right now, that's a good method, but as of right now, you can also hit up social media. Like you can just, I would do Facebook ads. Like if I was doing advertising, Facebook ads would be the first thing I would go to. There's nothing else that you have that, that can target a customer so directly as Facebook ads. Um, it's, 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 it's bulletproof. I'm not bulletproof when it comes to you. Like you, you can get your, your exact demographic, no problem. Um, if I didn't have money, um, I would go with, I would go with Instagram. Uh, that's, that's my kind of sweet spot, but I would go with Instagram and I would focus on, um, just DMing clients. Like I would literally go and say like, Hey, your business looks like it needs an upgrade or it looks like you don't have a site. Um, I can help. And you would just, if you have to DM hundred people to get a client, then you do. And as you build your portfolio, you won't have that problem. Your, the number of clients you have to contact before getting one will go down. One, you'll learn, you'll learn what you need to say better. You'll, your sales will get better. 
Uh, two, your personal marketing, your brand or whatever on your page will be better. Uh, and three, when they come back to look at your actual portfolio, it'll be full. <laughs> um, with with like real time, because like you can fill your portfolio with like, you can stuff it kind of or fluff it or whatever and put stuff there. But it's not the same as working with real clients. Like you, you get a lot more done working with actual clients. We also did, um, <clears throat> we did a handful of clients for free. Like I think our first like, 10 clients, we just got any friends and family that we could get to do their sites. Anyone who, ha who had an idea or a business, we were doing hairstylists, we, I mean, everything, we, we, we did it all. And we uh, we just started and started doing it for free so we could build our portfolio out. And we spent literally a week or two just uh, building out clients' pages. Now here's the other thing, <clears throat> even though you're doing it for free, you only have to do it for free to a certain amount and there's follow-up work. So if you, if you do somebody's site for free and then you get done, and then they want to change something later, that's money. So do, even doing a site for free is not a bad business plan. You might say like, hey, we'll do three pages for free if you want, but to get five pages built, it'll be this much money to get those extra two pages. Or uh, if they wanted more work done later or like follow up work or like if they need to stuff updated on their site and they don't want to do it at all and they literally just wanted to send us the content, we would do it. We sell them, six, it was 60, bu uh, 60 hours for 500 bucks, I think it was. And they can use those whenever and they can just kind of cash them in. And when you're starting out, you can do that. When you get bigger, you won't be able to do that because you can't just have a bunch of hours lined up and people needing stuff because then you're gonna put off clients. But when you're starting out, that's a good route to go. Um, yeah, all right guys, cool, later.